I am going to purchase a game sight unseen randomly from this list of PlayStation Network games. I have no idea. This is every game they have on the PlayStation Network. I will purchase it sight unseen. I will play it for 10 minutes and then I will judge it. I will give it a rating of where I think it is on Metacritic and I'll tell you my rating after 10 minutes. So I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna move this stick 25 different times wherever it ends up. That's what we're gonna buy. That's what we're gonna play. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 24, 25. It landed on Agatha Christie's Discover the Early Cases of Legendary Detective Hercule Poirot. He's the guy from that, uh, you know that guy. The dude, the dude, man, uh, in the movies, Orient Express, uh, whatever. You know the guy, the movie. God damn it, what's the, you know the movie. I'm buying it right now. Okay, the game has been acquired. It is now downloading. It is a PS4 game. It is only a five gigabyte title. Here we go, we're back. Um, all right, let's hit play. Once it starts, we'll go 10 minutes. 10 minutes play. I'll give you my score. I'll tell you what I think the Metacritic score is. You guess as well, see how close we get. Hope there's no long cutscene, but I'll start after the cutscene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't know if this is a casual game or a relatively deep adventure game. All right, I'll cut scene. I'll, I'll let this go under the wire. It's okay. I'm coming into it with an open mind. I promise you. I mean, why not? I love stuff like this. I love mysteries and I love Agatha Christie. I just don't like cutscenes. And some people will say, oh, well, Jaffe, you're getting into it. I'm, I'm into it. I gave you my money. I'm into it. Trust me. I'm a, I'm a captive audience. You don't need to. You don't need. You don't need foreplay. Okay. I can't even do it. Can't even do it. Fuck it. Let me skip it. Cannot skip it. I guess it's really important. Boy, now I really feel immersed in the world of Hercule Poirot. All right. Hang on. Here we go. Set timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Counting down. There you go. Dude, come on. You got 10 minutes to, to prove your worth. Don't look at me like that, you fuck. Don't look at me. Oh, ennui has set in. Insist on your name before I can continue any further. How's he say it? I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot. Sacre bleu! Sacre bleu! Bleu! Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Hercules. I'm Elizabeth. Do you have a list of all the items that have been taken? It is only one of Mademoiselle Angeline's most valuable bracelets. Then it's safe for town. Is of the all right, so it's taken from her room. Okay, Elizabeth reported the threat. That's kind of interesting. It is not often you see such crimes committed here. Try finding clues they may have left on the path. You can use L2 and R2. Okay, all right. This is interesting. I'm not. I'm not hating this. It's kind of fresh and unique. Kind of like my, my vagina. What? Come on, man. It's just, it's it's enough. I can't, I have three personalities working today. Oh, the muddy footprints. While two sets lead away, only one muddy set returns, or rather hastily, it seems. Uh, while two sets lead away, one set returns. So it was probably somebody helping somebody inside the house steal it. Which had a run button. Why can't I shoot anybody? <laughs> oh, okay. What's this? A touching extract from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Oh, that's got me moist. Come on, Jaffe, what is with the vagina talk? I don't know. It's just... This morning's shower must have been heavier than I thought. An intruder stepping here would leave evidence elsewhere. You now have enough evidence to make your first deduction. Use L to highlight the muddy footprints. Okay. Notice his interpretation as you do. Oh, that's clever. Okay, because I'm saying these two things are tied together. So make a link. It seems the muddy footprints are the result of earlier rain. So it could have been anybody. It doesn't even mean they... Well done, you just made your first deduction. Interesting. Talk to Elizabeth. You talk to Elizabeth, you fuck. Yes, I got him. Did you guys hear what I said? It's like, you talk to her. I just want to see what else I can find. No, I'll do what it says. Ooh, there's a ladder. I'm going up there. But first, we're doing this. I could not help noticing the unkempt lawn. Is there not an employed gardener? Very sad. 
Luke. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to uncover. Try exploring the rest of the garden, collecting evidence. A declaration of love has been carved into the bench. L loves E. Luke. Luke loves Elizabeth? Is this Lady Elizabeth? I bet the gardener is shtipping Elizabeth, and he got her the ring, and they're gonna run away. The carving on the bench. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're you fucking... The identity of the mysterious you're L. fucking Luke, the gardener. I'm afraid not. Yeah, we know what's happening. We know this case. We've been around the block. You're fucking the gardener. He wants to leave with you, and he needs that brooch that he stole to sell. Beautiful flowers. I'm glad to see no one careless like Thomas Helm. Oh, cause right, cause he picks the flowers. He takes care of the fucking flowers. Cause he gives them to Elizabeth. That's what gets her moist. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's been ten minutes of playing this game. I, I want to keep playing, uh, but let me, let me turn it off for the moment. And let's check out the Metacritic. I'm going to tell you what I think it is first, though. I, I Believe it or not, I liked that. I thought that was fresh and interesting and different. I've never really played a game like that. I, I know that that's not groundbreaking. I just, I don't play games like that. I've seen them and I'm like, I don't, that looks like a cell phone game or it looks like a, you know, soccer mom game or something, just not for me. But so I don't know where it falls if you play a lot of those games, but as a first timer to that genre, I would say that was that's interesting. I'm very eager to go back to that. I'm actually so eager to go back to that. I might play that with the family. That seems like something that would be fun to sit around with friends and play. My own personal score of the first 10 minutes is an eight. If I extrapolate it out, my guess is it gets repetitive. So it's probably would be a six and a half. I would say though, Metacritic is going to give this game a, a, it's either a seven or a 7.5. I'm going to go with a seven. Hey, 75. Who was right? Mystery novel in the form of game, structurally linear and simple. It's a good adventure for fans of the genre looking for contained work that doesn't distract. There you go, 75, Metacritic. I was off by five points. I should have said 75, but my gut was telling me 70. There you go. We have survived. You, ha you die in gaming roulette if you're off by 20 points off is death. I die as a character. And if I died in real life, I couldn't do anymore. Unless you get like a spirit box. Be well.